Hello cruising world, Mick the Suit Guy with you, back with some more videos. You may have noticed, by the way, slight difference in the backdrop from this place to the old little studio. So I've switched my studio around. Uh, it's a little bit different. Great thing about this is, behind me, you can't see this, there's a mirror. So I can see everything I do and don't do. I can see what I look like. So now, if I mess my suit up, I can fix it. And I can see what I'm doing just by looking right there. You're up there. Anyway, what are we going to talk about today? Oh yeah, let's talk about the embarkation process in the lovely town of Galveston, where I just went to go on the breeze. Let me tell you, I thought Long Beach was easy. I thought Seattle was easy. None of the places I've been to have been difficult. Miami, they're all Fort Lauderdale when it was still there. What's happened to Fort Lauderdale, by the way? Will it come back? We don't know. Let's keep an eye out, though, because it's a nice place to go visit. Southwest used to fly into Fort Lauderdale only, not Miami. Now they fly into Miami as well. Bet you didn't know that. They do. Anyway, Galveston embarkation process, very, very simple. Took a couple of videos. I'll walk you through it right now. Simple. Almost as simple as the master drill is now. Avaganda. So here's the port at Galveston. You can see the breeze right there. And right across the street where I got dropped off by my Uber, you have a couple of parking garages where you can park for reasonably priced uh, parking. There's one on either side of the road. And I'm gonna show you the prices. I took a picture up front of one of them. So uh, like I said, pretty reasonable. Uh, $90 for the five day cruise we were on. I think if you go out of Long Beach, it's more like $25 a day or something like that. So it's cheaper than Long Beach. <laughs> Not that that means much cheaper than California. Anyway. Uh, when you come across the street, this is the actual terminal itself here. There are at least two terminals, so make sure if there's a couple of ships in, uh, like when we got back, the Vista was right behind us. Make sure you go to the right terminal when you get on. But there's some people waiting to uh, get transportation back to the airport or wherever they're going from the previous cruise. Of course, I got there early because I want to get on board as quickly as possible so I can get some video. But uh, So there's a large, large uh, bus and public transport area up front. This is a bit further down inside that gap there where those people are was where we waited to get on. So there was a line just inside there. There's more buses that were waiting to go back to wherever they were taking them. But this is where you will go to get your transportation after the cruise right there. And then inside the actual terminal here, of course I couldn't take picture going through security because you're not allowed. But once I got checked in, we had to wait over here. As you can see, there's nobody here yet because I was the first one in because I'm a geek. But uh, I want to get some video. So we were called up eventually to go through. Uh, as of right now, the uh, priority areas weren't open, so everybody sat together. But just to prove that I was there, look, that was me in action. Action shot. Suit guy action shot. And then once we went through and we got called up, this is where we went. You get to go through and all you have to do is have your boarding pass. They will take your picture, take your mask down, take your picture right there, there I am. And then you are free to go onto the ship. It's really that simple. One of the simpler embarkation processes I have had. So you'll just walk around here and you'll do the loop, the walking up. It's like a Disney ride. You see the ship there, but you keep going up and round, up and round, up and round. Of course, you can take pictures there if you want to. Uh, I rarely do. Well, I should say never do, because I really don't like my picture being taken, but whatever. Uh, you'll see the ship on the left-hand side. This is where the excitement builds up for everybody when they're cruising, right? Because you know it's coming. You know it's close. But I wasn't going to film the whole thing, so I'll just cut to when we're near the front. When we're just actually getting on. And there we are, getting on the ship. Isn't that a wonderful feeling? Hope you all get it very, very soon. It felt amazing to walk on right now. And then we could take our masks off on this ship. It was the last one after this. I think now people have to wear their masks again still, but hopefully that changes very soon. But I am now on board a cruise ship for the first time in a long time. And it was unbelievable, but a very easy process. Told ya. Everything's getting much easier, isn't it? Simplified. Well, probably always that easy. I've never been out of Galveston before. Amazed how easy it was. I'll give you a quick tip though. Get what you pay for when you come to a hotel. 
I was traveling solo on this cruise, so I went for the cheapest hotel I can find. Not gonna name the name of it. I just would recommend you stay in a hotel very close to the port. That's all I'm gonna say. You can read between the lines. Get what you pay for. Anyway, if you like what I, you just saw, or you want to see and learn more about Carnival Cruises, hopefully I can help you along the way, and you can do that lovely little subscribe button, and you can watch more of my videos. The more subscribers I get, the happier I get, the more suits Julie will let me buy. I need more. I've only got 60. Going for the 100. Never going to happen. But anyway, subscribe if you want to. That was a very quick, brief video on the lovely Port of Galveston. Very, 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 very simple. Uh, it's a breeze. Get it? Because I was going on the breeze. God, sometimes I impress myself. See you later, Cruising World. Any questions? Email me anytime. CruisingSuitGuy at gmail.com. I promise I'll reply as soon as possible. Want to book a cruise or any type of travel? We are travel agents. Check out our site, EliteTravelConnection.com or email me, Mick at EliteTravelConnection.com. We are here for you. Finally, subscribe, please, pretty please. You know you want to, go on. I won't beg you, okay, I'm begging. Please, subscribe. Thank you.